Hey guys, welcome back. We are out on our first trip with the fifth wheel. We actually came out yesterday. <laughs> we didn't film any of it. <laughs> we were planning on filming a little bit of it, but we just didn't get to it because we had some issues. We were rushed too. We, we were kind of rushed. Other unexpected trip at the town. So. Yeah, so the, part of the problem was is I had to work half a day yesterday, which was Friday. And as soon as I got off work, I came home. It's about a half hour drive to get home. And then we went out to the RV. The plan was to hook up, come out here. And then we heard something on the radio earlier in the morning about a place that was uh, gathering supplies for the hurricane victims down in Mexico Beach in Panama City. and. So that got thrown into the plans too because uh, we wanted to, to get some stuff put together. You know, we're in the process of downsizing, so we figured, hey, we'll we get some of our stuff to some people that could really use it. So we did that, we gathered that stuff up. So that put us back a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so by the time we got hooked up, which took longer than normal because it was really only our second time hooking up by ourselves, uh, and then got out here, went back to the house, got that stuff, took it out uh, to town, ate dinner, and then last night was senior night at Lauren's school. So we went straight to the football game from dinner, did senior night, because they were recognizing all the seniors on the football field that were graduating this year, uh, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we came back here and it was already late. And so we really didn't film anything, but we're out here now and it's an awesome spot and still working out a lot of the bugs yeah but i mean we knew that that was going to happen we that's were... why we camped close yeah that so we go back to the house if need be the house is literally ten, not even 10 minutes it's really i mean it, as the crow flies it's like <laughs> two miles from the house but it really takes about 15 minutes to get out here because of the route you have to drive to get out here um but it was our first time it was our first time hooking up to power and water and at a campsite. I mean, out at our buddy's house um, that got the 50 amp power and water, but no dump sites or stations like that. So we really haven't hooked up to anything and kind of just getting the feel of where things are at in the RV, uh, kind of memorizing where we put things. Because when you need things, you can't find things and it's not like your house and so took a little bit of getting used to but we're out here now at Uchi Creek campground we got a good pull through site uh, it's a really cool place for our first time I think yeah they got um, it's not too crowded there's you know the campsites have plenty of distance between each campsite um, you can see here there's lots of, of shade um, there's lots of trees got some nature going on with some squirrels uh, we saw some deer I uh, haven't got any footage of deer yet, but I'm sure we will tonight. tonight they come yeah. through a lot. And um, it's just a really cool place. They have like cabins out here. They have chalets. Chalets? 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 Chalet. I don't know how to say it. But they have those out here. And then they have like cabins. Like they call them cabins. They're like houses. They're huge. Yeah. Um, so we went walking on the, they have a little trail and it's, it's a nice cut trail and it's yeah. marked clearly with the yellow paint. paint and even like when you're walking they even spray painted the roots, roots yeah. yellow so you you're not trip gonna trip us. over the roots <laughs> um, but if you get off the path you're just on your own but we couldn't bring scout out last night because he was already in bed mm -hmm. by the time we got done with the senior night and got you know everything uh, we had to rush to get everything done and we couldn't get him in time to get it before his back. lights went out so. yeah his lights go out at eight o'clock at night and so by the time we got done it would it wouldn't have been smart to transport him while he was, he was sleeping already. sleeping so we got up this morning and drove back to the house and got scout
He was freaked Stupid. out oh, <laughs> on the car ride. But once he got out here and then got out of the cage yeah, for a little bit a and he's looking out the windows, like he's he's cool. He's having a good time. We're not going to sugarcoat anything no. on this channel. I'm just telling you now. Yesterday sucked. It really, like the first, I mean, from from getting to the RV, to getting hooked up, to getting out here. What we don't want to do is we don't want to make it look easier than what it, what it is. We didn't get any footage of that. If we could have got some footage of that, you would have seen how real that struggle was. If you wouldn't have worked, we could have, because we could have. It would have been easier if I wouldn't have worked. Up. It's gonna get, it's gonna get easier. It's gonna get better. Oh, the other thing that sucked, let me tell you this, okay? If you have a Montana, you may not know that there is another gray tank release valve underneath the kitchen slide that we didn't know about. And so yesterday when I went to go hook up the, uh, oh, when I went to hook up the thing, because at the dealership we had been working on making sure that everything works, so we had to have them turn the water on and run it through and all that. I assumed that all this was going into the gray tank. It wasn't. It was going right out to where the little cap is because the yeah. valve was already pulled out. I didn't even know that there was a valve because in the water storage compartment, there's like the gray tank pull lever and then there's the black tank pull lever. And I thought that that was, that was it. But when I went to go take the cap off, hmm. Yeah. It all I mean, came it out. Splashed them. <laughs> all, all over me in my hands. And my, but it was just a little bit of my clean jeans. Water. I mean, it was gray. Well, I mean, it, we only ran the sink and shower in inspection, so I mean. Yeah, but still, I mean, even though we had not, we had not gone into the gone to the bathroom in the RV no, we hadn't yet, used it. and still, you know, what that. <laughs> so I like take it off, and then it starts pouring out, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but it's clean water. <laughs> didn't have anything in it. Oh, so nice. <laughs> I'm sneaking up on a deer. got back from deer hunting <laughs> or deer looking and so now we're watching football hanging out outside the RV and Scout has joined us road lizards all right thanks for watching guys bye bye